Do you ever notice how you feel completely different in January than you do in July and then blame motivation, discipline, or personality? Yeah, that's not a character issue. That might be a seasonal orientation problem. Which brings me to an interesting point, circanial rhythms. See, your, your brain isn't just orientated in space, it's oriented in time. Circanial rhythms are your body's internal calendar. They regulate energy, mood, appetite, sleep, libido, focus, based on light exposure and seasonal change. You're not meant to feel the same all year long. That's not biology, that's branding. So what is orientation? Well, the orientation reflex asked one question, what matters right now? But here's the problem, modern life remo removes seasonal cues, artificial light, uh, same workload, same expectations, same pace, all year long. So your brain loses temporal orientation. It doesn't know when to push and it does, or when to restore. So what happens when you ignore the seasons? Well, in the, in the winter, as it is now, our nervous system naturally shifts inward. Lower energy, more reflection, more recovery. But we tell ourselves, no excuses, same, product, same productivity. And that's how you end up exhausted, anxious, nervous, numbed out, using caffeine, alcohol, or sheer willpower to override your biology, which historically never goes well. It's like yelling at your phone because the batteries dies faster in a cold. You're not mad at the phone, you're mad at physics. And your nervous system works the same way. Orientation isn't, about, isn't just about attention, it's about timing. When you align your work, your food, movement, and expectations with circanial rhythms, your brain stops fighting itself. You don't need more discipline. You need better seasonal alignment. And during the winter, we're not failing. We just need to follow a different set of instructions.